Looks like Windsurf is back again with a big new update. Allow me to introduce Wave 3, where they are now introducing Model Context Protocol. They also have introduced a tap to jump feature, a turbo mode, and much more. And today we're going to be exploring all these features further in detail. For the people who do not know what Windsurf is, it's a fairly new agentic AI IDE that is a competitor to Cursor. Windsurf Editor is powered by an AI that can both collaborate with you like a copilot and tackle complex tasks independently like an agent. The AI is completely in sync with you every step of the way. But now that we have gotten all that out of the way, let's now get into showcasing all the new features. First off, let's take a look at the introduction of Windsurf now supporting Model Context Protocol, which is also something that stands for MCP and is something that many of us have heard about as it's a framework that was introduced by Anthropic and it's something that will standardize how AI applications can access external data. So MCP is something that will enable AI models to retrieve information from structured data sources through MCP servers. But now we have this new Wave 3 update that integrates this within Cascade's AI flow system, where you can now call MCP servers as part of its toolset. It's similar to like something of a model going ahead to search through code or executing terminal commands based off of the functions that it has. You can now have it so that con you can configure MCP servers through JSON in the Windsurf settings panel, and this will allow seamless integration of external data into AI system workflows. It's currently available for every individual plan, and it's going to also be supported for teams and enterprise with admin controls. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. By the way, if you do not have Windsurf, you can go ahead and install it for your operating system for free as you have a free plan which gives you access to many premium features. And once you have it installed, you want to go ahead and log in with your account, but you also want to restart this and update if you already have it installed to the latest version. So make sure you go ahead and update it and then open it back up. Next up, we have the tap to jump feature. This is where Windsurf is enhancing its predictive AI experience with Tap to Jump, which is making navigation within the editor faster and more intuitive. While a autocomplete was a feature that originally predicted additions at the cursor position, and supercomplete was another feature that expanded this by allowing tab based edits beyond the cursor. But now you have Tap to Jump, which is going to take it further, and it's going to allow you to quickly move your cursor to the next relevant edit location with a simple tab press. Now, with this Wave 3 update, Windsurf is rolling out with unlimited autocomplete and supercomplete suggestions for all users, meaning that if you have a free plan, you will be able to use the autocomplete and supercomplete feature for free. And for the paid plans, they're going to be given access to the unlimited tab to jump feature and access to the computer intensive fast mode, which can be toggled in the Windsurf setting panel. Next, you have the turbo mode, and this is probably one of my favorite features. This is a mode that takes automations to the next level and essentially it's going to allow Cascade, the chat interface within Windsurf, to execute tasks autonomously and iteratively without manual approval. So think of it as the auto approve feature within Klein or Cursor's Composer feature. Initially, it was something that was in introduced in the original Wave 1 update with the automated terminal commands where users could actually whitelist or blacklist commands. But now you have the turbo mode that streamlines this process by letting Cascade rapidly execute and refine steps on its own. The next update is the drag and drop image update. Now, Windsurf's multimodal image input was a great addition to the Wave 1 update, which was enabling AI-assisted website building with Figma translations and much more. But now, a part of this Wave 3 update, it's going to bring an even more seamless experience with the drag and drop image support. So you can simply go ahead and upload an image directly into your editor by simply dragging it in. And essentially, you can have it so that you can build websites, translate from Figma and much more. And it's going to allow you to easily code out anything quite quickly. Now, this isn't somewhat of an update, but it is an addition 
to windsurf where you can now customize your application logo on your dock giving it a unique look that reflects your style a big new feature is that windsurf is now supporting many new models like the deepseek r1 o3 mini gemini 2.0 flash as well as deepseek version 3 which is expanding upon their ai model options now the current uh, model choice that they have defaulted is the cloud 3.5 sonnet which is something that is going to be used a lot for tool selection and execution but having more options with other models like o3 mini as well as deepseek r1 is going to allow you to get better generations in different areas however these models have varying costs and not all of them use a single premium credit so the cloud 3.5 sonnet only uses one credit and the other models like the deepseek r1 only use 0.5 Another new thing is that Windsurf is launching Windsurf Next, which is a pre-release version for early adopters who want access to the latest features before they hit the stable release. Stable release meaning the different wave updates. It's something that you'll get early access to different sorts of AI powered development tools within Windsurf, as well as real world testing to initially tested releases that they launch. So this is essentially a way for you to get update access quite early instead of waiting for the waves now in their changelog they've also introduced a lot of new patch fixes and they have tweaked a lot of different bugs that were faced in the initial releases so definitely recommend that you take a look at the changelog to see all the small updates as well as the miscellaneous updates that they have improved upon here i'm showcasing how i'm creating a documentation knowledge based mcp server for windsurf's documentation and you can see it's autonomously working on creating this server and you can actually access the mcp servers over here by clicking on this button you can have it so that you can configure it as well as having it so that you can edit upon this another feature that we talked about was the turbo mode rather than me going ahead and accepting terminal commands i can have it do all these commands autonomously with cascade by going over to additional options you can go over to cascade uh, usage and then you can go over to the settings tab and you can turn this to turbo so that it can go ahead and execute all of these commands autonomously so rather than me going ahead and clicking on accept it can do all the executions of terminal commands autonomously but that is basically it for today's video on windsurf wave 3 that is all the different updates that have been launched a part of this update and i definitely recommend that you read through their blog post because there's a lot more content and it will give you a better understanding of all the features further in detail over here also take a look at the changelog to understand the smaller updates like the bug fixes as well as the miscellaneous updates that have been introduced but that's basically it guys i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you subscribe to the newsletter follow me on the patreon follow me on twitter and lastly make sure you guys subscribe to the youtube channel like this video and please take a look at our previous video so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas